Hey, hey, Bouncer Yo here. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you had an awesome day. Today, we are going to be looking at Night Sky. Here, we talk about um, app UI. So, I'm just going to check this app out and also let you know um, whether or not it's something that you, you should also look at. So, I've had Night Sky. Um, I've had it on and off for a few years now. Um, but I mostly all the time have it on my phone on installed basically at some point usually all the time uh, because i usually think this is just a just a cool idea to have in your pocket um so let's check it out so you can learn more about it so if you're into astronomy or if you just are interested in stars in general um let's start by looking at some of the screenshots so point your iphone at the sky to find stars constellations and more um yep so you can do that so uh, these are there's a bunch of different uh, constellations you can look at. Um, let's see, you can also see uh, our objects, so such as this uh, International Space Station. You can see um, tra things which are traveling in the sky. You can also see even more ARs and also the object. You can see different galaxies. Um, as you can see, if you are interested in just learning more about the universe and also just having a very handy tool, like from my perspective, I feel like if this was a tool that astronomers had in like the 1600s, it would be an extremely powerful thing. And it's all now for us to use in an app, which is very, very cool. Like you have so much information um, on your fingertips. Um, let's open it and check it out. And just so you guys can see for yourself how night sky looks like. So this is the interface that you get when the app first opens. It sometimes plays music, but that's something that I've disabled because it gets uh, it can get pretty annoying. Um, and um, as I'm moving my phone like this, um, you can kind of see a horizon uh, made of different buildings. That's not a real horizon, but it's just there to show you the difference between um, your lower horizon and your upper horizon, if that's the correct term. Um, you can see down here, um, if I go like this, um, I can see a compass and I can also see some planets. So different things are highlighted for me um, as I move like this. And this is not everything you see. It's just that I have disabled some of some of uh, the things you can see, such as some of the constellation, the graphical ones and, and that kind of thing. They also can get pretty distracting. And also I've disabled some satellites, which I will turn on and just show you guys how it looks like when you have everything enabled. But for now, this is your interface and it just works with your gyroscope and your accelerometer on your phone. So as you move your phone like this, you get to see all the different uh, things around you. For example, there's the moon, which is uh, pretty cool. And uh, it actually lines up pretty well um, with reality. So you can just point this in your screen and let me show you. Um, um, there is an AR mode which allows you to see through this and probably be able to match. But for example, it says, uh, let's let's try to look at something, Canopus. Let's tap on that. So there it's zoomed in and I'm seeing the actual object and you could also see it in AR. So it can show up in your room as well if that's something that you wanted. And it's also is cool, like it's perfect for kids to be able to play with. And here I'm just swiping along this uh object with my finger so there it is and also the other thing i could have done i can pinch to zoom so look at all the information that's, that's available about all the different stars in the sky it's freaking amazing this is just it's just mind-blowing that this is all now available um for you to just look at so this is orion if you've ever been curious you zoom in you can see the orion's belt there like that let's tap on bellatrix let me try to zoom into Bellatrix. So that, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so <laughs> now let's talk about the business model since it conveniently popped up uh, to distract me from playing around with the app. Um, you have um, you have 10 times zoom if you pay for premium. You have access to all premium features. You can cancel at any time. Okay, cool. I'm sure there are other benefits you get. Let me see. Uh... So the annual price is to $29.99 a year and the monthly price is uh, for $99 a month. But they're saying if you subscribe now, you're going to pay $2.99. Um, I have not and don't think I need to pay for this app. I'm not exactly a professional astronomer, but if I was, I probably would because this app is amazing. Um, 
and also I don't use it that often. So let me just show you how you can learn. So you point, you're just looking in the sky randomly, you find something like Mercury. You can tap on it and it even shows you the path of Mercury apparently, you can check it out there. Uh, you can zoom in a bit and when you tap on Mercury, um, you get to learn a bit more about Mercury. So all this is like astronomy jargon, which is that's what I mean, that if you are a professional astronomer, you'd probably really like having an app like this because it has all this information that you can easily refer to, assuming that uh, uh, maybe uh, assuming that uh, what, uh, people who study the skies need to refer to this kind of information often and in a very easy way. So just like that, again, I've tapped on Mars and you can see, but enough of playing around these planets. I hope you are impressed enough. Um, let's go back. And now let me show you. Um, let me show you a bit more of the settings and uh, other things that you might be interested in. So you can set up notifications. So you can say, I want notifications whenever there's auroras, whenever there is news. So you can add here, let's see. So you can add different things. So whatever happens if a Starlink um, string fly over, and this is actually pretty cool. You can see them in the sky. It's like a, a line of uh, lights flying through the, the sky. You can set basically, bleh, basically all sorts of different notifications so that if anything happens in the sky and you'd like to be notified wherever you are, the notifications just pop up, but that's something app disabled gets pretty annoying. So preferences, here's the music I was talking about. Uh, maybe you'll hear it in a bit. Persistent interface. I'm not sure what that is. You can choose between miles and Fahrenheit. Um, 3D Earth view, that it is. Show satellites. Um, real sky representation. Mm, no, no, no. Uh, elliptic line. Glass mythology. That's what it's called. I'll show you what that, um, what that looks like. Let's see. Accessibility. As you can see, you can get pretty detailed as to what you would like to have on your screen. Um, you can even change the app icon apparently, but if you have premium, um, you get Siri shortcuts. I oh, it also has an Apple Watch app, and the Apple Watch app is amazing because it has this exact feature where you can basically see what you can do basically this with your Apple Watch. So, um, if you have an Apple Watch, this is an app you'd also like to install because it's very amazing. You can just show off to your friends that uh, you have a very cool app. Um, there are other things, um, planetarium visits, astrophotography. So that's if you want to take astrophotography. I guess it also allows you to do that. Uh, I'm not in a in the uh, blah, blah, blah. night sky unlimited. What's this one? Ooh, for twenty three, for two hundred and thirty nine dollars, you're going to get. Uh, you'll never need to subscribe again. Again, I feel like if this, if you're a professional. Um, this is a very useful app for you and you can unlock all these different things. So I do not consider, uh, okay, maybe 239 is a bit much, but, uh, I don't consider, um, maybe, maybe $25 a year, something so expensive. So, uh, let me finally show you the search. So let's just search for the sun. Let's just say, okay, there, and then you can tap on it. So you can say directions and it'll actually lead you to this. So as you can see up there, there's a, there's a, there's a word, there's an arrow. So you can see it's like the directional thing for the, for the, for the airports. Nope. The air tags. Yeah. <laughs> cool. 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 So, so there's the sun, as you can see, it just showed me where the sun was and, uh, there's the sun and that there, there we are looking at it again. If you have like a kid, uh, sibling, or someone who's interested, this is an app you can check out for free on Android. No, no, no. It's only on Android. Is it on iOS? I do not think this app is on iOS. I, I tried searching. But you can look for it. There are other apps which help you kind of do the same thing. So, yep, there it is. I hope I have shown you how cool this app is. And I probably have only shown you just a few of the things that you can find but for the basic boy or girl just like me um i think you will enjoy this so um definitely check it out i appreciate you um checking out my video and i will see you in the next one see you bye bye